So this video is going to be a bit less technical than other coding related videos I've done on the channel. In fact, we won't be coding at all. We're going to be building a personal website with a website builder on Hostinger. This episode of Code Something was made possible by Hostinger and their cloud platform, and specifically the cloud hosting service, which we're going to be using to register a new domain and build a website. Making this video was a bit nostalgic to me because my very first YouTube channel I made also had an accompanying website, which I built and hosted with WordPress.com. The website builder there was awful. And I remember paying like $75 for this theme, which you can't even see in the Wayback Machine because it was very JavaScript heavy. Anyway, the website builder tools I used were super jank, and I know tools like that give website builders a bad name, which is a shame because there are good builders out there like the one Hostinger offers. So the first thing I'll be doing is registering a new domain. Right now I'm only signed up for single shared hosting, and you can't really host a website without a domain name. I selected North America since that's where I'm from and that's probably where most of my traffic will be from. I used Hostinger's domain checker service to find that eg.xyz was not only taken, but it was dirt freaking cheap. About a buck a year for registration, that's a steal. And no, this was not prearranged, there was just a crazy sale going on right now apparently. They offer a service that hides personal information for the domain at an additional cost, which is a cool feature, but I think some registrars offer that for free. But anyways, now that I've paid for my domain and waited a few minutes, let's go ahead and set it up. So there's a whole bunch you can do with your website. You can set up WordPress itself, install a whole bunch of applications and services, including SSL. But what we're going to do is we're going to use that fancy pants website builder. So another huge difference between my old website hosted at WordPress and the one here at Hostinger is that I seemingly have access to the actual machine, like the hardware, along with a bunch of other ancillary stuff. So it's a bit more than just, hey, let's host your dinky little blog, and more like, hey, let's host your website slash web application. Oh, and by the way, here's what the website looks like in its current form. Cute. Okay, let's check out the website builder. So the website builder is actually a separate web app called Zyro, and you can actually use Zyro independently without hosting or services. However, the whole point of using Hostinger is to get the domain and networking stuff that's actually required to host the website. So there's actually a whole lot more that goes into it than just the website builder. There's a whole bunch of different templates to choose from, and um, a lot of them feel a bit outdated, like 2010 era, like bootstrappy. It's not necessarily a bad thing if you don't really care, if that's the aesthetic you're going for. The website I'm going to be building is just a simple portfolio or resume website, which, by the way, I highly recommend to all of you professional and career folk out there. I found this template just called a Loretta Dawson, and the name Loretta sounds awfully familiar, so we're going to go with that one. Overall, the template was alright, despite some interesting color choices and a broken map widget. I wasn't able to figure out how to change the color of the nav bar or the footer, but it wasn't a huge deal and I just incorporated the teal color into the color scheme. I removed the contact section, but that caused an issue with a footer cutting into the work section later on. I don't think it's necessarily an issue with the theme or the builder, but I'm not going for perfection in this video, so I just left it that way. I ended up fixing it later though. I thought it was super cool that support for Font Awesome was built in. I was a little bit worried that I was going to have to upload each icon for each social button I want to add, but it's built right in and you can change the color right there too. It's pretty cool. Having to explicitly preview the site was a, a little cumbersome because it doesn't build or display the website perfectly. Like when you deploy it, it'll be just a little bit different. And the preview defaults to a base resolution of 1200 instead of 1080p, which is a little odd, but it's not a big deal. I'm not going to build and edit the entire website here on camera, so let's just go ahead and jump to the finished product. Ah yeah, here it is. And I didn't have to write a single line of code to make it all work. So who is a website builder for? Uh, not for me, I'm happy to write the website code and set up the backend infrastructure all by hand. But I'm a developer, specifically a DevOps engineer, and that's what I do. But there are lots of folks out there who want their very own website or blog. Not something like Medium or GitHub Pages, but something like that is theirs, like an actual website that is built and customized by them. Those are the folks that website builders are aimed at. 
Builders like the one Hostinger has is more than just customizable themes. Like you can actually edit and customize pretty much everything about the theme in the builder. And there's a hell of a lot more to it too. There are literally dozens and dozens of applications that you can install onto your site. And what's cool about this list of apps, the vast majority of them are free and open source apps too. We're talking storefronts, forums, wikis, like all that stuff. You can just install it and make it part of like a seamless part of your website. And that is about it for this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it and season one of the Code Something series. A big ol' thanks goes out to Hostinger for sponsoring this video and letting me play with their super cool website builder tool. Of course, if you'd like to check out Hostinger for yourself, reserve a domain, get started building your very own website, you can hop right on over to Hostinger's website and get yourself set up with an account. And be sure to use the discount code EG for money off annual web hosting plans. Let me know in the comments section if you've ever built a website and if you've ever used a website builder. Or maybe you're like me and you enjoy building everything from scratch. Either way, let me know. I appreciate all your support and thanks for watching.